If you're struggling to memorize guitar chords, I'm gonna show you the number one exercise I teach all my students so they never forget a chord again. Welcome back, I'm Jake with Guitar Gym Pro, and if you're new here, subscribe for more guitar songs, skills, and fun. Let's get into it. In order to memorize chords quickly and efficiently, we need to be able to do two things. We need to be able to hear the chord in our mind's ear, and we need to be able to see where our fingers go in our mind's eye. It's easier than it sounds. Let me show you. Step one, we need to make sure that we can play the chord. Usually, we'll get the chord in a chord diagram. We have six lines going up and down, and we'll have a few lines going side to side. Now, those up and down lines are our strings, thick on the left, thin on the right. So the left represents the top of the guitar, closer to your eyes, and the right represents the bottom of the guitar or closer to your feet. Now, the dots show you where your fingers go. You'll notice that on the fifth string, on the second fret, we have a dot with the number two in it, and that's saying I'm using my second or middle finger. We number them one, two, three, and four. Then I put my third or ring finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and I put my pointer finger or first finger on first fret of the third string. And this is to play the E chord that I've got on the screen. And that's my first step, making sure I can play the chord and giving it a strum. Now, if you're not sure what chords to learn or you want some feedback on your playing, make sure you join my free Gateway to Guitar group. I've got a full course in there. You can ask me questions directly. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, step two, we want to engage our mind's ear. What we're going to do is we're going to keep holding this chord and we're going to strum each string nice and slowly and make sure each note is ringing out. Now, if my hand had been a little collapsed or if I really didn't have good position, I might get some thunk. And I'm gonna to wanna to fix that. I'm gonna to wanna to look at my left hand and I'm gonna make some adjustments, usually bringing my thumb down, making sure my fingers are rounded and my fingers aren't touching other strings. So once it sounds good, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strum the chord and I really wanna to listen to it. And then I'm gonna stop the strings and I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna mentally hear that chord again as if I strummed it. Now it's gonna take a little practice to get this to be really clear in your mind, but it's important that we start this at the beginning. This is the foundation of being able to hear things and then be able to play them back. Step three, we're gonna get this chord in our mind's eye. We're gonna use a four part process. Grab, strum, release, imagine. Part one, we're gonna grab the chord. Part two, we're gonna strum the chord, making sure it sounds clean and clear. Part three, we release the chord. And part four, we imagine. We imagine where our fingers would go, seeing them in our mind's eye landing on that fretboard. And then we're back to the beginning and we grab again. And we go to part two, strum. Part three, release. Part four, imagine. And we're gonna repeat that process over and over again until we feel super comfortable with the chord. I'd say about 90 seconds to two minutes. Vividly hearing the chord is gonna help you tune your mind's ear and your brain will work to reproduce the sound of that chord. I know it sounds a little woo-woo, but our ears are much more powerful than we give them credit for. Vividly imagining what that chord looks and feels like as we're getting it in our mind's eye helps us build a clear mental picture of the guitar and our fingers, which helps us memorize these chords much more quickly. Now, if you want help and support on your guitar journey, make sure you join my free Gateway to Guitar community. I'll have a full course in there teaching you new chords, full songs, and having fun while you're doing it, and you get to do it with a bunch of other awesome guitar players. Now, if you want some songs to learn right now with new chords, this video is for you. 